What is up, Flockers? That is my fellow Lockers and aspiring Lockers. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a quick and easy style that you can achieve with your locks, whether you have short, medium, or long locks. So stick around to see how I do that. As I said, we are keeping it simple and easy today. So the things that you will need for this style are going to be three things. Good old water bottle. I like a continuous water bottle. Fine mist and less amount of pumps that you have to do in order to saturate your locks. I am going to be using tiny mini elastic bands. And then I'll also be using some larger elastic bands. Please keep in mind that you are more than welcome to use other methods for this to hold your hair up. If you want to use bobby pins or something like that, then you can use that. I'm gonna be using those three things. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with saturating my hair a little bit so that we are not working on completely dry locks. Sometimes I style my locks dry, but it's obviously better for your hair to go ahead and make sure that you are not manipulating it when it is dry. And I'm just squeezing the moisture in so that way the water is not just sitting on top of my locks but that it is actually going into my locks as well. I have low porosity hair and so even as a locked natural, my hair is still low porosity. And so in order for water to get into it and actually take in the moisture, it needs a little bit more help than just spraying water on top. So that's why you see me squeezing the water in just to make sure that my hair is not just saturated on the surface, but that it actually goes into the lock and stays damp a little bit longer. So now the next thing I'm going to do, obviously right now I have a middle part, but for this style, I'm going to go ahead and hit y'all with a deep part. A deep part. All right, so you can choose how deep you want your part for this. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the deepest part that I have ever had. I'm pull out my mirror too, so that way I'm not just looking into the viewfinder, but I can actually kind of see what I am doing. All right, so I've got my really deep part. All right, my locks are like, what are you doing? We don't ever get down this far over. All right, so first we got our deep part. Then we're going to simply do what we do a lot of times with our lock videos. We are going to roll. The base of my mirror came off, so it's trying to do me dirty on this video. And speaking of doing me dirty, while we're here, let's just go ahead and address the pimple in the room. If y'all see this, don't come, I mean, like, my skin is just being so disrespectful this week, so, yeah. All right, so, we have our deep part, and then, as always, we are going, I, I prefer a roll back away from my face. You're more than welcome to roll towards your face. I just like the volume that it gives when you roll away, and I like the look that it gives. All right, and as always, I typically like to start out with it small and then let it gradually get larger so i'm gonna grab about two locks for each hand let me see make sure because when i'm looking make sure i'm twisting the right direction all right that's going toward don't want to go that way see i'm already getting confused trying to look in mirrors and stuff all right What I'm doing is I'm creating my twist and I'm incorporating the hair from the top of my head into it too. And as always, as I'm twisting, I want to make sure that I'm getting it taut, not tight where it's pulling and uncomfortable, but taut so that it's not going to come out. So I do push these down as I am twisting up. All right. And as I go around, I'm going to bring these in as well. And I kind of want to 
I want to make sure that I get enough of them up. So you got to be mindful of where you want your part to be. As you were going around and doing this, all right. So again, I just keep twisting as I go around. I'm not huge on making sure that my parts are perfect, but I am trying to keep the line a little bit somewhat defined and straight. All right, so from here, now that you've got this, you can place your bobby pin or your rubber band to hold what you've done so far. All right, so you got that. You could stop there. This could be your style. You could rock that. But we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna keep it moving. All right, so next, I'm going to essentially be doing the exact same thing, but I'm gonna do it to these two sections. So again, you could leave it down, but we're gonna proceed to twist some more. I'm gonna make sure that I have my rubber band ready. All right. And same thing. I always like to start small in the very beginning. And then as I go on, the roll gets thicker. And I'm not concerned about how many locks I'm picking up because I'm just rolling. All right. Come in here. You have a decision to make. You could roll it down all the way if you wanted to, but I'm gonna keep this as a half up, half down style because I just like the way that that looks. Give some dimension and framing to the look, to the face. All right, so again, bobby pin, a rubber band right there. So we got that. You can go back as far with this as you want. I could have gone back further, but I'm choosing to stop about the exact same place that I stopped this last one. All right, and then I'm going to repeat the same thing on this other side. And all of these are being rolled up away from my face. Same thing, start out small with a couple of locks, just to give it that crisp kind of look and starting. And I always make sure that these locks are being pulled down into it as I go along, just so that it can be clean. And so that it has the appearance of it being tight, even though I'm not making it tight. Because if you have loose locks, then the style's obviously not going to give what you want it to give, unless you want it to give loosey-goosey. If you want your lock style to give loosey-goosey, then cool. We want it to give a tight look, but obviously we don't want it to be tight because we don't want to snatch up edges or anything like that. So don't don't pull your hair tight. You know you know what's tight for your hair. So just be mindful of how tight you are rolling your hair because you are manipulating it. Um, so just be be careful in that manipulation. Got this twist. On both sides all right and that's the look let me give you another view a little bit closer it took me less than 10 minutes to complete that style so you know it is quick it's a pretty simple one. You're not required to braid, you're not required to basket weave or remember whether you took from the top or the bottom. All you're having to do is roll. It's a fairly simple style for anyone. Like I said, you can achieve this with short locks, with medium locks or with long locks. So it's a great style for everyone, whether you have traditional locks or micro locks, it's all good for everyone. And if your locks are a little bit longer, like mine, I don't know if you would consider these short or medium. I consider them short. I consider medium usually more around here, but 
Once they're about this length, then you're able to add an extra thing, which you use the larger elastic band for. And you can even pull these mugs up and make them into a little faux ponytail. Boom. Look at that. So now I'm rocking a ponytail. And I don't have to worry about flyaway locks that can't fit into it because they're too short, because they're all tucked away. They're all where they're supposed to be. Look at that. All right, so that's almost like a two-in-one. I hit y'all with the two-in-one again. Look at that, why don't you do it? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and click that like button so I know the type of content that you are enjoying and make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you join the flock. And while you're here, stick around to see some of the other videos on my channel. I've got lots of other styles in addition to this one, as well as regular updates and lock talks. So I'll see you over there.